Chào mừng tất cả các bạn đến với kênh dạy tiếng Việt tiếng miền Nam cho người nước ngoài. In today's video, I will show you how to use the word dạ in Vietnamese. Whenever you heard someone say the word dạ, you immediately realize that this person is using the southern accents uh, because only southern Vietnamese people it use the word dạ. Okay? So in today's lesson, I will show you how to use the word dạ in any situation, any sentences. So, when should we use dạ? People say dạ when they want to show the respect and politeness to the older people or in the workplace. You can also use the words dạ to your boss or someone just a little older than you, like one of you two years old, it's okay. Or in some cases, especially for the girls, for the women, they can even use the word dạ to those male employers uh, that is even younger than them. Okay, so dạ is used to show respect and politeness to older people. So when to use dạ? First of all, every time, everything. You can add the word dạ at the beginning of sentence of every sentence you say to show your respect to your um, older people, your parents, your relatives, your uh, uncle, your aunt, everything, everyone, every sentence can be added by a word dạ at the beginning of at the beginning of the sentence. For example, if your friends ask you uh, about the time when they ask like this, bây giờ là mấy giờ rồi? It means what time is it in uh, English? Mà uh, you're gonna answer normally like this. Bây giờ là 6 giờ rồi. Okay? So, what if your mother asks that question? Bây giờ là mấy giờ rồi con? You have to say uh, you have to answer like this. Dạ. Bây giờ là 6 giờ rồi. See the difference? Another example is um, again, if your friends ask you uh, uh, whether you have finished your uh, homework yet or not, he gonna ask like this: "Hey, mày làm bài tập chưa? Hey, did you finish your homework? You gonna answer? Tao chưa làm. But what if your teacher asks you that? Em làm bài tập chưa? You have to answer like this." Dạ, em chưa có làm. Okay, see the difference? So you add the word dạ to show the polite and the respect to the person uh, who is older than you. Okay? The second situation is you want the person to repeat something for you. That means you cannot hear them clearly at first. For example, when your mom said, uh, ask something like, Phi, uh, sorry. When your mom uh, asking something uh, like, uh, okay, for example, me, my name is Fee, okay? When my mom asks me to do something while I'm making the video like this, when she asks me, Fee ơi, lấy giùm má cái ly. I was into the video so much so I cannot hear clearly what this is say. I just hear her sound, uh, her, her, he uh, addressed my, she addressed my name only, okay? so I. Yeah, it's like, pardon? What you say, mother? What you say, mom? She gonna repeat her question. Má nói á, là con lấy giùm má cái ly. Okay, at that time, I heard that. So, yeah, yeah, you have to raise your voice at a question. Yes? Phi ơi, lấy giùm má cái ly. Yeah? Má nói là lấy giùm má cái ly. Okay? Like, pardon, excuse me? Yes. To ask for uh, the repetition of the question. Also, uh, you answer, you say, dạ, when you want to uh, confirm that you heard someone uh, addressing you. For example, when my father, he from the backyard and he want to uh, call me something like Phi ơi! I heard that and I will have to say something to, 
to say that I heard the what my father called me. Okay, yeah, Fei ơi, yeah, okay. And then he continues what he want me to do. Lấy giùm ba cái nón. Yeah. So I confirm him that I'm gonna bring him the hat. Okay. Another example, another situation is uh, when the word yeah is used as yes to answer in yes no question. Okay. For example, when you are uh, you know uh, just assume that you are a man you know who are in love a Vietnamese girl, and when the first time you come to see. Uh, your girlfriend's father it's gonna be like this Dạ Con chào bác Sao? Đòi lấy con gái tôi hả? Dạ Bao nhiêu tuổi rồi? Dạ 24 24 là cái gì? hai bốn tuổi hả? hai bốn tuổi thì nói hai bốn tuổi đi và đặt tên ti phô tên ti phô việt kiều hả? dạ nói tiếng anh ha dạ ghét nhất là ai mà nói tiếng anh trước mặt tôi lắm á nha về nước Việt Nam thì nói tiếng Việt đi Bài đặt nói tiếng Tây, tiếng Tàu, tiếng Anh Nói tiếng Tây, tiếng Tàu, tiếng Anh thì đi cưới vợ nước ngoài đi Về đây cưới vợ Việt Nam làm gì Lấy vợ Việt Nam phải học tiếng Việt, biết chưa Dạ Con đang học tiếng Việt trên kênh SVFF đó bác ừ. Nhìn cái mặt đẹp trai hơn tôi là tôi quế rồi á And that's all for today. Those are some situations that you need to learn to use the word ya yeah in Southern Vietnamese. Uh, you can turn on the subtitles to see the Vietnamese subtitles to make sure that you follow our lesson. Please like, share and subscribe and comment some words that you want to learn in the next video. We will see your suggestion and make another lesson about your words. Okay, so tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại. Ráng học tiếng Việt cho tốt vô nha chưa? This video, I will teach you how to use the word Trời ơi appropriately Trời ơi is used popular in Vietnamese